What's going on guys, it's your boy James here, Beards and Cars, back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, thank you for subscribing. If you guys are just stopping by, consider hitting that big red subscribe button down below. Now guys, in this video, I've been talking about it for a while, I'm going to do a beard trim. I put up a poll, I think last week, something like that, maybe a few days ago. I asked you guys what, how much you think I should trim off my beard, one to two inches or uh, two to three inches, or just don't trim it at all, or just do a maintenance trim on it, just a clean up. And uh, what you guys voted for was basically clean up, and that's pretty much exactly what I wanted to do anyways. Now, clean up could, you know, pretty much be an inch off the beard, you know, because you got a lot of dead ends and stuff like that. So, you got to get in there and get those also and get some of them flyaways off. So, we'll just see how much it ends up being as I trim. So, what I like to do, guys, I've already done just a little bit. I like to kind of just brush through my beard and give it just a little bit of blow dryer. Um... To try to not com not completely straighten it out, but just to uh, just to get it to lay down more, just so I know what I'm, I can see what I'm working with, and uh, yeah, so that's pretty much what I've done already uh, before the video, just to kind of make it to where you guys didn't have to see that. But what I'm going to do is what I always do. I like to come right through here like this and grab about right here on each side of my mustache. I like to come down and then go like this and touch my fingers together and pretty much pull up. That part of my goatee right there, whatever you want to call it, these chin hairs. And just like to um, kind of separate this from this so I can kind of get a good, nice, good look at this. And I can trim this because this is usually really uneven. So I like to mess with that first. Uh, this don't have to be perfect, guys. Just get it close. And uh, yeah, go from there. So I'll get it about right there. And I like to put it like this and then get me a hair tie or something like that. Now, I'm going to be looking here and over there, guys, if you're wondering why I keep looking back and forth because i got a mirror here and a camera here. So, But I like to get this and then tie this up just out of the way just a little bit. Kind of put it in a little, little beard bun or whatever you would call that like that. But pick it up out of the way. Hopefully, it doesn't fall down. And uh, that way, I get a nice good look at this right here. <clears throat> And what's going on so now i'm going to actually comb through this just a little bit just so i can see what i'm working with here and then uh figure out the chop that i'm going to do all right Now, I know you guys could see when I was blow drying that, the right in this area, I just kept getting a snag, 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 snag. My uh, comb did not want to go through it. And uh, <clears throat> that's one of the main parts and reasons to why I want to trim my beard right now. So, when you can't get your comb to go through there because you got split ends, dead ends, whatever it may be, it really becomes a hassle when you start pulling your hairs out and the comb doesn't actually glide through there as good. And I don't use a comb that much anymore. I'm doing it just for the sake of this video because I'm trimming, trying to get some tension on it and pull it down long. I usually use a brush like this, and I still get a lot of snagging, even with a brush like that that don't snag very much at all. So, all right. With that being said, guys, here we go. Do just a little bit of a uh, comb through it one more time. I know you guys see. There goes a long. Look at that one right there. Woo! You guys can see that. Those are old, I don't know, probably a year or two old gray hair. These hairs feel the weirdest. If you guys got a gray hair, gray hairs in your beard, you know what I'm talking about. They feel weird. They feel like they're round, flat, round, flat. They just feel weird when you do that right there. But uh, anyway, and then over here, you guys can see I got some, uh, some hairs that are a lot longer than the others, and they stand out. Those hairs right there are the ones that drive me absolutely crazy. It made me want to cut a lot off my beard because those I would consider a straggler and just look completely like crap. So, especially whenever your beard looks nice and neat and you got these hairs just hanging way out over here. So, this is what we're going to do, guys. 
You can obviously see that this side is longer than this side. Uh, you can see like a little dip right there. My beard pretty much always grows faster on this side versus this side. I don't know why that is. It just does it. And no matter how much I comb this out, it's going to look like it's the same length, but it actually isn't. This side is, regardless, this side over here is longer than this side. So here we go, guys. Clean up trim. Let's see what we can do. And you can see what I got on my shirt right there. Try not to cut, try not to cut too much off, just enough to wear my comb and we'll glide straight through it. Maybe with this uh, half inch of hair, it looks like I've got cutting off right now. It'll, uh, my comb will glide straight through it a lot easier. And then also I want to try to get this, see this area here to kind of blend it with this. Cause I got these, these gaps right here. And it has to be brushed just right, so I need to taper this up with that. And uh, that's another thing I'll be trying to do. And get rid of some of those really long hairs in the making, man. Let's brush through that. Just a cleanup trim, guys, is really all I'm really trying to do. Like I said, not nothing crazy. Just get rid of some of that old hair with the split ends and dead ends on it. It's uh, good, for, good for your beard, in my opinion. It's a nice trim, doesn't hurt anything. Believe me, guys, I would love to take off a lot more than this. I just don't have the courage to do it. I just don't have the courage to do it, guys. Maybe another day, but not right now. So that's what I'm working with so far. Now we're going to work ourselves around to this side. A lot of these hairs that, that, that are straight are half ass straight and they come out and they did like a little J hook at the bottom. Those are usually, usually the ones that give me the most trouble. Just gonna wrap this around so this is a little bit higher to straighten it out. And then there goes some of them longer hairs in that area, if you can see that. And I honestly don't mind getting some of these hairs up off my shoulder right here, man. Don't mind it at all. So what I'm doing when I use my fingers like this, I'm going in behind my neckline kind of and pulling some of those longer hairs out just to make sure all this is the same length is what I'm doing. Like right there, you can see I got a couple hairs here, a lot longer. And 
and my dog is going crazy back there in the, in the uh, other room. Hopefully you guys can't hear her. Uh, she's barking at somebody outside pressure washing. So. Maybe you guys can hear, maybe you guys can't. This gets tough too, guys, because you just kind of want to keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and straighten it up. And you have to just find a nice point to just stop and leave it alone. And then I got some right in this area, my neckline just kind of just goes backwards, dude. It's like so frustrating. So. Let's brush this through and see what we got. You can see my comb's not snagging on that one side anymore. So sometimes a nice hook's a little bit right there. I don't know why. I don't feel it when I go slow. Probably when I go a little bit faster, but right in there. Probably just something on. No, I don't. It's not a whole lot of resistance, but I'm not going to cut it up much higher over there. Might be one or two uh, knots in there somewhere I can't see yet. I'll dig through there later. Kind of going in and getting this uh, these longer hairs that are sticking out. And yeah. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's always going to look different in the video than it does to me in person because every time I slap my beard with this comb, it may knock it in one spot and not the other. So it may look short on one spot and not the other, like right here. Looks like there's a little gap. There's actually not a gap there. I'm looking right here in person. It just happens to look like that in the video. So... Hopefully you guys can see that. Although it does look like I got a little bit longer area right here. So I'm going like this. Trim some of that off. Just like that. Nothing crazy. Like I said, no matter what I do, unless I blow dry this completely straight, it's going to look a little different on camera than it does to me in person. There goes a little snag. Washing, conditioning, that should go away. That should look a lot straighter, or at least it does to me anyways. Um, this side was hanging out a lot more than this side was earlier, so... Hopefully you guys can see that. Now, I'll let this front down, kind of blend this in with this, and then we'll be done with that little trim. That always looks funny out there. Look at that. Make a thumbnail for the video. That's so people think I'm going to cut it all off. Sorry, guys. Maintenance trim. Maintenance trim. tug with that brush and I'm going to go behind it with the cone so I can get this kind of straight blend it in with the rest guys it's just a little bit after trying to blend in here you probably almost barely even see it what you can see there's a couple of long hairs here that's from stretching down so we're gonna grab those
But the crazy, just a little small trim. I can always afford to take more off here than I can in the back, so it just hangs down a lot longer, so. Anxiety level. Anxiety level's high, guys. It's hard to cut your beard whenever you've been growing it out. It's just something about it. You, your mind just don't want you to cut it. See where we're at here. <clears throat> Such a little bit looks like so much, man. You can cut just the smallest amount off and it feels like so much. I ain't hardly cut anything, but in my mind, it looks like I cut off three inches. So, go in and kind of knit some of these other hairs that are hanging out. You gotta find the stopping point, guys. Just remember that. You gotta find the stopping point. So let me see if this is my stopping point. <laughs> Take off a little bit right here, not much, just a little bit. <sighs> Let's see what we got here. Maybe a little bit more right there in that area. So, just a nice maintenance trim is all that was. Now, I'll probably come in here and nip some off of this back corner. I'll probably need to cut a little bit right here and a little bit right here, kind of blend this in. But this is kind of hard to figure out, in my opinion, if you should cut it or not, because in reality, you want it to kind of come and lay down. But if you're keeping your beard at this length, you know, if I was to keep it at this length and not grow it any longer, then, you know, it really wouldn't matter anyways if I was to cut this. So I probably will go in there and cut this just a little bit. And uh, that'll probably be it, you know, right there. So just to clean it up, because you see how this sticks out? I don't like that right there. It drives me nuts. So I don't know if I can get that on camera, you know. If I can look, I gotta get kind of close to this mirror, so I don't know if I can get that on here without fudging up the video. I think you guys can still see it. So maybe I will, maybe I won't. Let me see if I see if I feel like doing it right here. That'll also kind of help get rid of some of these scragglers I have right in this area. 
I don't like trimming this area, but sometimes you have to to kind of make it look right. Like I said, if you're keeping it at a certain length, don't matter anyways. So, I'm liking, I'm liking the length. It didn't bother me for that little bit of trim. It, it actually feels like I cut off a lot. I didn't. I cut it probably just enough to where I'm happy with it. But like I said, I really need to trim this back side a little bit. So, ah, let me see. It's kind of hard to see, so I got to really pull my, head, pull my head over, pull my hair over. Fuck it. We're just going to do it. Excuse my language. We're just going to cut it. What we're going to do is we're going to... What we're going to do is we're going to start right here. We're just going to kind of come with the shape of the beard and then just kind of shape it, all right? So you can see that little bit falling off. And that's all we want to cut. Just a nice little shape. Just a, just a little bit. Just enough to get this to stop going backwards back here. Cut a shape into it. That's all we're doing. We're just cutting the shape into the back side of it. And then what I will come and do is I'll come in here and I'll cut this. Kind of cut this like that. I am pretty hairy, so my neckline likes to get kind of crazy. There's no bomb or nothing in my beard, so I have to I have to find a stopping point where I can kind of go in there and actually style it because I know once I style it, it's going to, you know, bring itself forward, so. I think that's about all I want to do right there. So, yeah. Just like that. If I mess it up a little bit. That'll be pretty much outlays right there. And that's it. So I'll go in, I'll do this side. And uh, that'll be it, guys. I know it's a really long video. But there's my uh, there's my maintenance trim right there. So that's it. I think I'm pretty happy with that. Hopefully that doesn't make me want to come in and take a little bit more off. But since I didn't take much off, you know, it might have been a half an inch to an inch in some spots. But since I didn't take much off, uh, this kind of leaves me with something else to play with, you know, if I want to go up a little bit more. But uh, I think I'm pretty happy with this. So, like I said, I'm going to make this side match this side on the back. And then that's pretty much it. So, sorry about that really long video. Um, but I wanted to get the basic points in and how much I was going to cut off. And I feel bad for not cutting this side on video. I feel like I should go ahead and cut it. But it's uh, this side actually lays down better than this side did to begin with. So I don't have to take as much off this to make it look, you know, symmetrical. So that being said, guys, see you guys in the next one. That was my maintenance trim and my nerves are wrecked, even though I only took a little bitty bit off. Um, Stop trimming at some point and, uh, you know, kind of step back and take a look at it, make sure that you're not messing nothing up. And uh, if you do need to trim a little bit off, go into the next day or the day after, and come back in and did that little bit off. And that's it, guys. So that's my maintenance trim after, I don't know, it feels like it's been two years, but I know I've squeezed the trim in between there. Um, but I haven't trimmed in a while. It's been several, several months since I actually trimmed. And this is it. It's that maintenance trim I needed, just a nice little cleanup. And uh, I will be coming back and touching up here and there, probably not right this minute. Maybe tomorrow the next day I won't be filming that, but and kind of find the happy medium balance for some of these scragglers, and that'll be it, guys. See you in the next one.